All right, here we go. We are. All right, we're live. You ready? Mm -hmm. Wait. <laughs> Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Damn it. You ready for some Dalwini? Yes. Uh oh. And. Uh oh. <laughs> so you're giving me crap about I'm censored so often these days. That's for you. Thank you. This is going on the thing. It's one of my pelts. I've been censored so often, I figured out a way for me to maintain screen time. Oh. Right? Okay. Even if they cut out my choice, my choice words. Oh, uh, no. Uh, oh, no. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh, no, no matter what shot you cut to, you can't get away. That makes me vaguely right. uncomfortable. No, <laughs> he's right there. Oh, it's so uh, good. Uh, surrounded. Uh, surrounded by Moochie. Right, I think I'm blocking it. Uh, Alright, so tell me about this thing. Okay, this is a, a Highland whiskey, although I would say it's more, it feels more like a space side in flavor and approach. Right. Meaning it's kind of sweet, light, airy, right. floral. Not a lot of smoke. Actually, I don't know that it has any smoke. If it is, it's very so mildly smoke. So if it was a classic Peaking. Highland, how should it be tasting? Well, just, I mean, uh, a good comparison would be like an Oban 14, which is a little more richness and character to it. Mm -hmm. Or, um, shoot, a Deanston. Uh, I mean, so many, right? All of these are Highlands. Everything up here. Yeah. Right? Um, the Glen Livid is a good one that's more of a classic. Uh, Glen Farkless is amazing, right? But the but the space sides are always to me a little more honey, a little more sweet and butterscotchy, yeah. light notes, mm -hmm. uh, not a lot of smoke or no smoke depending on them. Mm -hmm. So this is one of those. We're doing this by request from Matt Mitchell, who said, "Hey, what about the Dell Winnie 15? Zero smoke. Yeah, less than zero smoke. He picked it up the other day and he enjoyed this. Now it, I will tell you, honey you, crisp apples, Matt. You picked the wrong two guys to fall in love with non-smoky whiskey. No, no. Do, do, do. Speaking. But I, it is good. I am an independent professional with a knowledge base <laughs> too deep for you to possibly imagine. Uh, I, 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 I enjoy the friendly stuff. Wait, no. All right, there we go. You know what? It's still there. Um, you, you're all, you, you can. You can. Do you know how high I'm standing on tiptoe right now? <laughs> you in can, order to cover that up. Ow! <laughs> My calves started cramping. It's in addition to the lips. Okay. No, I actually in the, in the mood every once in a while to have something very. This uh, is this is a crisp sweetness. Yeah, no, it is. It's apple, pear, uh, right. specific crisp tasting. Specifically, a honey crisp apple. It's a crispy sweetness. Honey crisp apple. Honey crisp apple. I buy that. Uh, this is owned by Diageo, and Diageo puts this out as one of their classic malt series. And a little bit of lemon on the nose there. Now he compares it, or not uh, Matt, but uh, there's a few people compare this to a Japanese single malt. Which I, I totally agree with. I could, yeah, absolutely. I could be convinced of that. That's very nice. Um, As a matter, of what, matter of fact, we should compare it right now. See, I've trained you so well. I don't even need to suggest additional <laughs> whiskeys at this point. You just know it's coming. Well, I've sort of started to enjoy it. There's nothing you Wait, can do about it. I don't know what I was thinking. So, what <laughs> Japanese whiskey do you think we're going to need to get? Um, you know, not one of the Yamazakis because they're too heavy for this. Mm -hmm. Not Nika because Nika is too Scottish and mostly not all of them. But right, um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say probably Hibiki, which is almost impossible to get these days. Oh, so I have to be pretty careful about what I pour. It's a good thing I am a special occasion. Let's say Hibiki Twelve. Almost, so now see, I'm getting acclimated to the sweetness. And there's some sour notes that are starting to come through. Don't waste this. This is amazing stuff. And it's getting more and more expensive because it's so rare. So. Well, it's only rare because they sold so much of it. It won't be rare for long as soon as they catch back up to the supply and demand chain. Now, this uh, Dalwini is smelling sweeter on the nose. Wait, no. To me, no. it's the other way around. I don't know. I get more grass and, and hay. From the Dalwini, I get more, I get more of the sweet notes on the on the Hibiki Twelve. No, no, no. I still get the caramel sweetness, the crisp, um, the honey, and on here, I'm getting uh, wheat. Mm. Oh, there's some smoke on that Hibiki Twelve. Oh, that Hibiki Twelve is so good. It's so good. Yeah, there's 
The Dawania is all let's be friends. This is not overwhelming smoke either. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice trace. But you can see how that could be in the same family. If you added a hint of smoke to the Hibiki, to mm -hmm. the Dawani. Yeah. You want to add a, a bit of smoke to the Dawani? Yes. What do we want to add from? I don't know. What do you want to add from? I'm the ah! Oh, good. That was, as long as it's Dalwini. <laughs> I, I still got my Hibiki 12 safe right here. Um, let's see, what kind of smoke should we add? Now, I mean, if we get too crazy with the smoke, it's going to overwhelm it. Yeah. Kalila. Or Kalila. I'm looking at it. Yeah. It's right So, there. leave me enough to add some damn Kalila, you <laughs> bastard. Oh, I'm feeling generous. I am a benevolent god. <laughs> <laughs> and so humble, too. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I ruin it first. I got really close. We just made it pretty close to the Hibiki 12. It's the right category, for sure. Dalwini 15 with a dash of Calula 12. Less than half a dash, because the dash that I got... A little too much? Yeah, it took it past the, the level of smokiness that the Hibiki was at. But it's dates. Add some Dalwini back in. It, yes. <laughs> it's like I don't even have to try anymore. Yeah, I'm in too good of a mood. I have no explanation for it. I just am. I tend to have that effect on people. <laughs> yeah, you're taking credit for that too. All right, well, read a comment, oh benevolent one. Uh, any, any any particular order here? Or no, I don't care. Just make sure you save enough for two more videos. Digging the villain stash, Rex, because it's freaking amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Christian Mo, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, the bioethicist. I'm watching all of these out of order. I don't know if you've considered merch, but I'd love a t-shirt uh. that says, <laughs> it's me shrugging, yeah. going floral? <laughs> <laughs> How come you always get on the merch? All the merch requests are for Rex merch. I mean, come on. If there's a face that I can, am hot. If there's a face that can move product. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> uh, let's go uh. to, let's jump down to speed rack. Mm. A dude from work kept trying oh, to Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. This is a good story. <laughs> a dude from work kept trying to come over to check out and drink my whiskeys. The bastard. Freeloading The me. mooch. How mooch. dare he? Son of a bitch. Uh, I brought him a half bottle of Ardbeg tin to take home and try. It worked out <laughs> you, perfectly. You are asshole. You are <laughs> brutal. <laughs> now he stays clear of me. I try to avoid anyone who is only interested in how much it costs. Right? I don't care how much it costs. Yeah. I care how much I That's can true. get for free. That's a good way to avoid people. <laughs> yeah. So if someone is interested in mooching your whiskey, but they don't normally drink whiskey, right. and they seem snobbish, mm -hmm. even though they don't know what they're talking about, mm -hmm. and you give them an Ardbeg den as a starter gift. That is a violent act. Yeah, really. It totally is. <laughs> <laughs> you just took that man out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is how are you enjoying that Ardbeg, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just so you know, that's how all whiskey tastes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you want to come over? You want some more? Yeah. Oh, okay. everything I have in my house tastes just like How that. many are we recording today? A three. Three. So I should... I'm going to do one more. Really? Okay. I do. I want to do one more because lime juice. Okay. Oh, I yeah. Can't, I can't... I can't... You can't not include lime juice. I can't juice. delay lime juice. He's so limey. Uh, hi, Daniel. This was That's you. not an English slur. That's for you. Him and Islam. Oh, hey! I, hey. Pick, I picked up another bottle of bullet bourbon yesterday and noticed this had a tiny cork pot, uh, particles floating around. Oh, there. we've all had it happen. I think it's because they use a cork that looks more natural. I suspect some multi-piece out of the scraps of wood particles. Uh, as opposed to the synthetic corks. I also replaced the cork with a wine stopper thing you get at the store for three euro slash dollars. Any tips on what I should do with the whiskey? I don't want to put this through a coffee filter since I think it'll remove too much flavor. Maybe use a tea sleeve? Question mark? Yeah, and I answered this and yeah, they're using actual cork on their bullet. Okay. Now, uh, so um, wine, by the way, wine you keep like this to keep the cork wet because if the cork dries out, it crumbles when you try to take it out of the wine bottle. If you do that with a 45% alcohol, it eats the cork. Mm. That's why you want to keep whiskey like this. Okay. Um, now, that can lead to the cork drying out. Yeah. And then you run into the same problem that he ran into. So, what's, now, the, what's the answer? The answer is, he was exactly right. Mm. Just, use a, just use a loose leaf tea strainer. He nailed it. Um, well done, lime juice. It will only hold the cork. 
it will only hold the cork out and then uh, you can put it back into the bottle, decant it back into the bottle. And then yeah, just use a interchangeable wine. Now I, I will tell you a, just a, a tip, Yeah, which is um, if you look in any of the drawers in anywhere in these rooms or in my office, here's what you find. And I'm watching you. You can watch while I pour. You'll yeah. do nothing if I pour it in front of your face. That's true. <laughs> okay, look what's in the drawer just down the way. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime I'm getting rid of bottles, I keep the corks. Throw away the bottle, keep the cork. Yeah. And it's f exactly for the thing that just happened. Okay. Yeah. I feel like this was a lot of generic whiskey talk with a very brief cameo appearance from Dalwini. Yeah. So and if anybody that's fine. <laughs> tuned into this episode wanting to get deep into Dalwini. Um, Wrong show. Sweet honey crisp apples, and then it's perfectly nice if yeah. you like really friendly whiskeys. Cheers. Cheers.